Hey everybody, back with more Brutal Skyrim. I'm your host, PC Outcast, and this is Grizzle. And Grizzle has decided that he should probably help some other people along the way. You know what? This journey shouldn't all be about him. So he's uh, always been hanging out here at the Sleeping Giant. He has learned that uh, Sven over there, who he really doesn't like, because of the way he talked to his own mother, uh, is in sort of a love tri triangle with Fain some call somebody called Feindal, who he hasn't met, and Camilla, who was nice enough to walk us at least halfway across the town to show us where to go to... Uh... Oh, oh dear. What's going on there? Anyway, um halfway across town to show us where Bleak Falls Barrow is. So before I head up there, I think I'm going to sort this out. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Well, that's all he talks about. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood Trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Sounds persistent. You may be right. Camilla may see Feindal as little more than a friend, but why take chances? Here, give Camilla this letter. It's full of venomous nonsense. Tell her it's from Feindal. All right. Can I actually read this letter? Dear Camilla, I know I've called upon you at your house many times, and while we may be growing close, I need you to put any desires you may have for me aside. I am a true-born son of Vellinwood, and I could never befoul my bloodline by courting an Imperial. I hope we can remain true friends, provided you understand your people's place in the Old Mary Dominion and respect me as such. Oh yes? Like I said, I don't like Sven. I think I'm just going to give Camilla this letter. That's the plan. Oh, wait a minute. Do I need any... Uh... Yeah, I need to fill my water skin. Which is just as well. I can go over and use uh, Camilla and Lucan's... Um, thing. Or their... Uh, the cooking stove to boil that water. Dove. I mean pot. Camilla. Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. You're welcome. You're not from around here. That makes two of us. Uh, so Sven wanted me to trick you into believing this letter was from Feindal. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? Oh my. He... He wanted me to think Feindal wrote this? Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Feindal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. Good luck. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. Right. All right, got that. And you anything else? Junk. Me, I call them treasure. I can sell to you, or I need to uh, need to add these to my favorites. Uh, I need to break down that poor quality Until wolf pelt. Yeah, let's just add those. Oops. The lingering health and frost. Sounds good. And just quickly break down. Every day we get visitors in Riverwood. That. All right, where is Feindal? Nice, Sven. That letter ought to convince Camilla to never speak to Feindal ever again. Yeah, I'm sure. Ah, is that him? Looks like an elf. 
beauty here unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. I do not think that Camilla is going to be spending any more time with Sven. I appreciate your help. Please take this. Some gold I saved up from working at the mill. Uh huh. And Lead you can way. follow me. Excellent. All right. All right, Fandel, you and I are heading up to Bleak Falls. See if we can find this. Uh, <clears throat> oh, pardon me. See if we can find this. Um, uh, what's it called? Golden Claw. Find Lucan's Claw. It's a very gray day today. Looks like it's kind of snowy up there, too. Still with me? What do I have equipped right now? That is not what I want. Oh. Yes. I was having some issues with this realistic unequip. Where I dropped something and it was duplicated. So, yeah, let's... Oh! Oh my! Um... Oh! Uh, no, no, that's that's not what I want. Equip that. Equip that. Oh, nice shot! And you already put your bow away. That's that's impressive. Okay. Well, I don't really, I don't really have time to skin that right now. Hungry or thirsty or anything? Nope. Sun is radiant. All right, even through the clouds. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. A gale howls across the mountain pass. Okay, so. That is perhaps a uh, a watchtower. I don't think that's Bleak Falls itself. I think that's further up. Now there's one person. And there's another. Are these bandits? I mean, what would they be doing up here? Hello? Hmm. They look like they're getting their weapons out. Oh. A blizzard running coming in. Okay, Fandal, you ready? Oh! One shot right in the heart. Um can't quite Oh! Another one! Oh my goodness. Okay, we don't know if there's any more. Oh, what a horrible storm. Okay, he's got a hooded fur scarf. That's nice. Take his mead. Water skin, sure. Um... Maybe I'll uh, give give these things to Fandal. Does he have a sword? Not sure if he does. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, there you go. Hide bracers, yes. Uh, some more. Oops. No. Nope. Wrong. A knapsack. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to leave that with him. Okay, Feindal. Got some stuff for you. What do you want me to carry? I want you to take this iron sword and this fur armor and these shoes and um, hide bracers. Maybe oh, is he not? Does he not want to wear those? Strange. And I think I'll probably wear the knapsack. You lead, I'll follow. Oh, why he's not wearing the bracers? Okay, I'm gonna throw this knapsack on. And the hooded scarf. Oh yeah, that's that's much better. Stay warmer. Oh my goodness, the storm is terrible. Okay, and let's just drop that and that and that. That's fine. Don't need those. All right, anybody else in here? Yep, oh, I just heard somebody. Just heard somebody unequip a sword or something. There he is. All right, Feindal, let's get this guy. Oh! Oh my. Oh. Okay, we'll check him out in a second. I just, like, crushed him. I mean, I just smashed right through his block and everything, and... Wow. I'm gonna give that to... Ooh, sleek for a cloak. Nice. I'll give the, uh... The shield to you. What do you want me to carry? I would like you to take the shield. There you go. And I'm gonna put on this cloak, this uh, fur cloak that should uh, keep me a little Go warmer. On. Oh, yes, very nice. The knapsack looks a little yeah. But, all right. Oh, what is going on? Are we, how, the air is bone chilling. Of course it is. Oh, man, we're gonna freeze to death up here. How, just how cold am I? Cold, but maybe I should try coming back when there's not a blizzard going on. You know, they could just jump us. Yeah, that's exactly what we are going to do. We're going to go down. Go back down. Get ourselves some food. Wait for this blizzard to pass. Barely see two feet in front of me. There's somebody over there. Oh, I think I'm... I think I'm freezing up. Okay. Things are getting a little... Oh, white stag? Look at that. So beautiful, I don't want to kill it. Yep. We'll just leave that... White fox. Um. Come on. Okay, it already knows we're here, right? So. Got it. So how am I doing 
cold wise. Well, not too bad. We can probably field dress this and clean it up. I don't think that actually does anything, does it? Pretty sure that's left over from I need. Oh, I could drink some mead. That'll uh warm me up and give me an empty bottle. Interesting. It's a little peckish. Right. I'm right behind you. Poor quality right snow you. pelt. Snow fox pelt. That's too bad. And finally some meat. Still here. Yeah, I'm I'm working over here. Alright. So we ended up with one piece of raw fox meat. And another small bone. Still here. Alright. I could use a drink. Yeah, I could also use a nap. Oh, and there's some eggs. Slaughterfish eggs. Hmm. Resist poison. Interesting. Anything else? No? Okay. We'll keep that uh, canine tooth around for... For crafting some more poisons and stuff. Well, that fi fight went pretty good. We were... The main problem was the cold. Hmm. Mud crab. Come here, mud crab. I want your meat. Oh, well, he blocked me. Oh, and again. Well done. There you go. Damn. You're really good at blocking. Um, I'll pick that up. Can I carry it? Yes. Can I pick that up? And I'll clean it up over there. It's kind of... I don't know if I'm all that interested in eating... Eating raw... Well, not raw, but uh, eating um, mud crab. Not really my favorite thing, but whatever. Food is food, I guess. Okay, so hopefully there won't be a massive blizzard tomorrow. Still thinking I should clean that up too. Um, I am slightly tired and it's not that late yet. So let's let's clean that mud crab. Clean. And harvest ingredients. Still here. And I'm getting hungry, which is fine. We'll be cooking dinner shortly. And I got some mud crab and stuff from that. All oh, right. New to Riverwood? If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the mill. What? What was that screaming going on about? Okay. I'll... Well, I will eat first, I guess. Now, you know what? I'll cook first. 
boiled mud crab, okay. And seared fox. Doesn't seem like I can do anything with the legs. Hmm. Actually, if I uh, if I go to realistic needs, um, I think that there's an option. Clean cooking menu. If enabled, the recipes will only show up when you have at least one of the main ingredients. Okay, let's check that out. So I click on that now. Do I have fewer things? Oh yeah, a lot fewer. So we have all these different you know, forms of water and salt. Okay. Still here. Yeah, a lot less stuff. That's weird. I don't have any dragon's tongue. Hmm. Okay, so it doesn't work with everything. Alright, well whatever. The sooner you find the claw Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Would you consider buying some mud crab legs? And an empty bottle? Excellent. Thank you very much. And anything else? to sell to him. I can use that. Oh, I need to break that down. Uh, I'm going to keep that for when it's raining. I'm thinking this will keep me warmer and that'll keep me drier. Yep. Till next time. Okay, just going to do a little scrimshaw. Yes, excellent. So we have another uh, three small animal bones. Don't let my sister do anything foolish. I've got your back. So right now I've got uh, what is it? The um, the Riverwood Trader is everything you uh, need in a general store. I'm sorry. I gotta get out of here. Thank you. Now, I have the Pink Moon, which is materials harvested from carcasses is un are unusually bountiful. Now we've got health, movement speed, restoration spells, more capable of foraging. It's interesting. I'm right behind you. I'm thinking the, the foraging one. Yep, let's do that. Okay, so now what I should actually do is have that on. So whenever I do foraging, I'll improve at it. At least that's what I'm hoping. Okay. So if I do foraging with for foraging, which I need to do some of to get my my skills up. Ooh, look at that. Dressing only takes an hour and 16 minutes now. Butchering also getting down. Skinning, harvesting still a little bit. Yeah, the foraging levels, you have to actually do foraging to, to level that up. And then there are perks for that. Oh yes, speaking of perks. Gained a level. Um, Well, so far, I've been doing fairly well health and magicka-wise, right? I haven't used a lot of magicka. Stamina is a big, a big thing, so I'll take that for now. And I guess, um, yeah, just less magicka for that or destruction. Uh, alchemy, stronger potions, that c could be nice. Lock picking, I don't think so. Sneaking, more effective. That would be good for for hunting as well. Light armor. So you gain 20% armor rating and you gain a small amount of armor experience when wearing t at least two pieces of light armor in combat. 
I think I'm going to do that. That's that's quite interesting, actually. Don't know what the next level does. Scorn the Beast. You take 10% less attack damage from enemies with full health if wearing all light armor. Well, I don't have a light armor headpiece right now. I've got the scarf. Yeah, I've got the three pieces of light armor. And then I've got a scarf and a cloak. Okay. All right. Well, I'll end this episode right here. I'm gonna go have some dinner, and we'll see you in the morning. <laughs>